My name is Tyler Kelly. I'm the co-founder and chief strategist at Slam Agency. We're a small but mighty full-service digital marketing agency with a focus to help marketing directors like you execute on your strategic vision for digital marketing. Now, the purpose of this show is to help you level up when it comes to marketing strategy and execution. And today, I'm going to be talking all about how to level up when it comes to video marketing. Now, we know that video is the now thing. I mean, it's no secret. We've been talking about video for several years as an industry, and we know that video works. Video works because it's more engaging, it's more memorable, and it's more popular than any other content format. And that's because as a human species, we are visual, okay? We love to be able to connect with somebody on the other end of the screen, through the screen, and and to see ourselves in that person. And video is the way to make that happen for your target audience. So today I'm gonna share with you my favorite kinds of videos and how you as a marketing director can use them to captivate, motivate, and inspire people to action. Are you ready? All right, coming in at number seven is the highlight video. Now the highlight video is perfect for anyone that wants to showcase an experience through video. A lot of times this happens with conferences and events, which I know there aren't a whole lot of those happening right now. There might be in the fall, but it's a way to kind of convey an experience. So a lot of times we immediately think, you know, mega conference and uh, all these really cool features and effects in this video that goes out either you know after the conference, but then it's used again later in the year to sell tickets for the next year's conference. These are great ways to use a highlight video, but there's a few other ways you might be able to use a highlight video that you haven't thought about yet. Recently, we did a highlight video for a client that wanted to share the experience of the factory floor and all the capabilities that this client had in terms of manufacturing. They wanted to share this experience through this super upbeat hype video, this highlight video that just kind of showed all these aspects to their potential clients. Okay, so they couldn't always, especially right now, fly people into the factory and show them what they were capable of. So it's like, okay, let's show them what we're capable of, but let's do it in a video that really gets them excited. So the number six video is the FAQ video. I really love this for professional services, lawyers, accountants, doctors. In your industry, what you have is you have you receive a lot of questions. And typically these questions are gonna be asked over and over and over again. Now what you might have done in the past is you might have you know, created an FAQ page on your website, on your firm's site, where you list out the questions and you provide a written answer. And that's great, but how many people actually take the time to go and hunt for that answer? As a matter of fact, they're probably, even if they are, not gonna be doing that on your website. So the FAQ page, at least as we know it, really is not as appealing as it could be and as it should be. How should we use FAQ videos? Well, we use FAQ videos on YouTube. YouTube, as you already know, is the second most visited search engine. Now, we would we would think, you know, typically YouTube is a social network. I beg to differ. YouTube is a search engine. This is where the power of YouTube comes into play. It's a search engine because people go there to search. They go there to find solutions to their problems and they want to be able to see the solution rather than read the solution and so an faq video is the perfect way to optimize the solution for that potential searcher now if you don't know search is an instant answer right if i go to search and i'm looking and i'm searching for something i'm expecting an instant answer the beauty of the instant answer is that you're able to provide an instant solution that instant solution immediately pinpoints you not only as the thought leader but as the provider of the solution that they're searching for and it's a match made in search so do the faq video take all the questions that you get on a regular basis that you get consistently over time write out that question ask it to your principal or create some sort of answer video where you answer the question and then throw that on youtube optimize it so that your audience will see it that's the faq video number five is the explainer video now an explainer video takes a new or challenging concept and puts it into words the words that 
the market can understand or that your potential customer can understand. You're a potential investor could understand, right? And so this is an explainer video. A lot of times you see this on um, SaaS sites or startups where they are doing things differently. They're approaching the market or the pain point from a different angle. And so they have to explain, you know, how it is that they're doing it and why it matters, why it matters to the bottom line, why it matters to the customer, why it matters to the market as a whole. Now, a lot of times you're going to see, at least if we produce the explainer video, you're going to see it animated. And that's because we believe animation is the perfect way to convey complex ideas. Number four is the tutorial or how to video, which I'm a huge fan of. Remember we talked about YouTube. It's the second largest search engine. People go there to find instant answers to the problems that they're experiencing right now. You know, I go there a lot when I want to figure out how to get something done around the house, when I want to figure out, you know, how to, uh, overcome this technical challenge that I'm having with a piece of software. I go to YouTube first. Why is this? Because I don't want to read through years of, you know, backdated blog posts and forum entries. I'd rather just, you know, go through and find a few videos that work for me that tell me how to do whatever it is I'm trying to do. This is where the tutorial and how-to video comes in. It sets you up as the expert. Now, if it's something that's easy enough for me to do, as case in point, in this show, a lot of times I share with you tactics that you can implement today, right now. And that's great. I don't need you to call us to implement those tactics. But what I do know is that the more I give you, the more that you receive, the more that I'll receive, whether it's through referral or just goodwill, right? And so I want to give away as much as I possibly can. Where does this, how does this play into the how-to video? Well, here's how. As you begin to get to that point to where you don't have the bandwidth, the time, or you know the um, experience, the knowledge, the capability to take it to that next level, immediately you're going to know who to call. Immediately you're going to know who to email because I've been helping you every step of the way get to this point. Some people say, I don't want to give anything away. I want them to call me. I want them to hire me to do it. That's the wrong way to think about sharing knowledge. You never want to think about it that way because if you, you know, if you, if you keep your hands closed, anytime you're closed, there's no room for anything else. Okay. So stop holding on to the information, let it go, let it flow, knowing that it will return to you. Okay. So the how to video sets you up as the thought leader. It gives the information that's needed for the person that's searching right here and now. And over time, they will continue to see you as that thought leader as you continue to help them. And when the time's right, when they're ready to become your customer, they're going to give you a call and they're going to send you an email. They're going to purchase that product. Number three is the brand story video. Now, this is one of those highly produced, uh, very well thought out video stories that typically what we'll do when we do a brand story video is we sit down with multiple stakeholders. We pull out the, the experience that they have with the brand and we help them articulate that through interviews, through, through a sit down interviews, typically eight to 10 hours of interviews go into a two to three minute video. And this is important because, you know, you can't just give somebody a list of questions and, you know, have them know the questions in advance. And then all of a sudden, you know, they come in and they're like a robot. They, they spot out the answers and then they leave. You can't create a emotional, powerful, uh, inspiring and captivating and motivating brand story video that way. So what we do is we invest the time in conversation. We invest the time in getting to know the stakeholders. We do this on camera and that becomes the foundation for a brand story video, a brand story video that's supplemented with B-roll and uh, visual elements to kind of really convey that story visually. Think of it as a documentary. You've, I'm sure you've seen this uh, multiple times. The brand story video is a perfect way, nonprofits, to raise income. It's a perfect way to tuck on those heartstrings. We've done this many times and you know, it's not an artificial or unethical thing. What it is, is you're connecting your purpose with the viewer's purpose. When you make that connection, you have created and cemented a supporter and they will, you know, fund the mission. That's what it's all about. The brand story video, very impactful. Now, 
The number two video, my, my number two, is something that you can do on your own. You won't need us or any other agency to do it or any other firm or, or video production uh, company to do this. It's the testimonial video. And we've talked in previous shows how testimonials, social proof are, is important. It's super important to conveying your credibility and your trustworthiness as a business. And testimonials are one thing, reviews are one thing, but when you put that into video, then the end user, the viewer, they can see the person, a person that is like them, that shares common interests, that, that has uh, similar challenges, and they see and hear what they're saying about you. Nobody can speak about you better than a customer, a happy customer. So when you have these happy customers, and I, and I trust that you do have them a lot, you know, most of the time, then what you need to do is you need to get them on camera. It, ideally, you bring them in, you ask them a few questions, you record it, okay? And so that becomes the basis of a testimonial video. If that's not possible, ask them to shoot a selfie video on their iPhone. This is fine. We just want to convey that this is a real person that has real things to say about your business. It doesn't have to be highly produced. An iPhone is fine. If they can't do that or they don't have the confidence to, to do the selfie video, Ask them if you can have a conversation with them on Zoom and record it, okay? We, we're all familiar with Zoom now. I know a lot of people have selfie lights right in front of their cameras or their laptops so that they can do the Zoom calls. Ask them to do a Zoom call. Ask them a few questions, record it, and there you have it, a testimonial video. My second favorite video type. What's my number one? My number one is the teaser video, okay? Now, this might come as a surprise because the teaser video, it's, it's definitely like promotional heavy, and I usually always say, don't promote yourself or your services, especially in social media. The teaser video really is either an ad format, it's used in advertising, or it's used in social media. It is exactly what it says. A teaser video is a video that teases some other form of content. Social media is the best place to do this. YouTube advertising. Ideally, these videos come from longer videos. You know, like if we do a brand story video for a client, then we're going to produce teaser videos for that client so that they can put those out on social media to capture people's interest and then to get them to come and watch the longer form of the video, the longer video. The thing is, people don't have time to watch a five-minute video on Facebook. They don't have time to watch a five-minute video typically on Instagram. So what do you do? You put a 30-second teaser in there. You grab their attention. You invite them to come watch it on your site. And over time, you're going to get more people to your site watching that video. Okay, So that's how you use a teaser video. And if we're going to create it on the agency level, we're going to create multiple videos for uh, that will point back to one single you know, piece of evergreen content. Now, Innovation City, this is a show that we do, We Are Slam, the podcast that you're watching or listening to right now. You'll notice if you check us out in our social media feeds that we're posting snippets from this show. So this show, it's probably been about 10 minutes that we've been talking here. Uh, out of that 10 minutes, it's maybe four or five clips that are 30 to 45 seconds or less that are able to be pulled from this larger piece and then promoted in social media. Gives you just enough to whet your appetite and to get you to want to come and watch more. And that's why I love the teaser video. So these are my top seven most favorite uh, video types. These are all video types that you could be and you probably should be using if you want to level up your video marketing game. And it's important. It's important because as we know, 88% of all online traffic will be video traffic. All online consumer traffic will be video traffic by the year 2022. And this is up 15 times from the year 2017. It's just outrageous. Here's the thing. Google said that six out of every 10 people prefer online video over television. So as a marketing director, think about that. Think about online video. It's not just the future, it's the now. 